And welcome back, gamers, to Let's Play Colonization. This is SKS, and if I were bingo, old folks would read numbers off the bottom of my balls. Alright, the last time we left, we were still dealing with the Dutch, and the French were kind of creeping their way up the coast. So, let's go down here and see if the French have started any new colonies. The Dutch seem to be kind of stuck here at Fort Nassau, so we're going to kind of just sit here and pillage them a little bit. The Indians are still pissed as hell at me right now, but we should be used to that at this point in the legacy. Uh, I've pretty much been going all day long with this on my Christmas break to get caught up, because as I've told you all before, I'm a teacher, so when school starts back and I'm teaching those kids stuff that they should already know, it's going to be rough to keep putting these up, so I'm trying to get ahead as much as I can. You know, you get the teaching life, the dating life, the masturbation life, and all that other stuff that you got to fit into. Sometimes it's just crazy. All right, a new cargo of horses. That means we are actually making them. And that is excellent. Excellent news here at New Pork. So we have a sentry and... Or, I don't know why I call them a sentry. We have a missionary and artillery. I think I was going to take them up here to new pork so that we could actually calm these Indians down so that they would quit attacking us. That's the plan anyhow, so we'll see how that goes. And then we probably need to start focusing on actually uh, producing crosses more and just calming down the Indians as a whole. Alright, here comes their merchant man. We'll sit there and wait for it. And we are still going around collecting goods here so we can go sell them. Alright, we have a ton of goods to send back to the New World, or the Old World, excuse me. It's one of those days, I just really don't know what's going on. But hopefully we'll make some money off that, and I can start producing better goods and quality items in my colonies. I really hope they come out of there with some excellent goods. I would love to pillage some stuff. But I'm still worried about where the French are, and hopefully they're not closer to independence than I am. I would hate to have to cut the declare independence earlier. But we will just have to see how that goes. Our poor seasoned scout, he landed in a new world. He's seen more of it than anybody, but that's how it rolls sometimes. Alright, I'm tempted to go down here and see if the French are there. Alright, so we'll let you in the Fort Nassau. Our road is completed. It's excellent news. There's a French merchant man. I guess I could follow him in and see where he goes. Alright, I'm hoping that that merchant man comes out with lots of goodies. Theoretically, I'm still at war with the Dutch right now. I would like to get in contact with them to cancel that, but... Beggars can't be choosers, and they will have to just live with it. Alright, so let's sell our goods here. And that probably dropped the price of furs. No? I'm impressed. Let's see. Do we want any of those? No. Do we want to purchase anything? I... Th mm, I'm kind of stuck right now what to do. Is there anything we need to train? We can train everything. I think we're okay right now. I'm actually going to purchase another privateer. And send it down there toward the French. And start hopefully stealing a lot of good items. I kind of live and die by the privateer theory. It's kind of like the three-pointer in basketball. If you hit it, it works. If you don't... Yeah, you're kind of in trouble. But so far in this game, I've been doing decent, so there's no use to end that now. Let's see if we can find some French down here. Well, there's a wagon train. So we found Quebec. That's the actual first French uh, colony, so we'll stick with that. And we will wait here for the Dutch to come back out. And we'll continue building roads with this uh, Pioneer. French must be trading with the Indians, which they do. That's kind of in their programming. I'm worried that the French are going to try to make a... Ooh. 
Ooh, I saw that. We will definitely be going after that guy. I'd like to put a cannon over there on spam. I probably should have done that. Fort Boob has run out of ore. So we can fix that by taking our ore dude here and have him produce ore. And we will take the gunsmith and have him produce food and that will balance everything out. I would like to get some preachers and perhaps even some uh, more elder statesmen, but the cost of them are just so, so great. So let's see if we can hopefully plunder something excellent here. They're full of cargo, so we should have the advantage. And the English privateer was damaged. That's crap. That angers me to no avail. But sometimes you win and sometimes you lose gamers, so we'll just keep going. As we'll come over here and hopefully the French will stay away from spam. I am kind of worried about them just declaring war on us and taking that. I'm debating sending my seasoned scout up there too there to try to protect it, just so we have horses there. We will take a free colonist. Cargo load of tools. That's excellent. So we will actually, wood and hammers are equal. I think we will move him over with the tools to make Liberty Bells real quick. Alright. Let's see if I can move the map around a little bit. That was kind of the guy I wanted to stop, but I don't know if we'll find him again. Okay, it looks like the French soldier's kind of moving away, so hopefully. So we'll sit here and wait for the French and see what they do. But they settled on an island. I just never liked an island being like that. Let's see if we can go to Fort Orange here and just make our little trail again. I think I'm going to move some guns. I'm gonna move him hopefully I can cut the merchant man off and make it weigh some of its moves so it doesn't reach it to the low the edge of the water there so it will um, take off. And I really wish this settlement there, let's see, ah, it worked perfectly, he wasted moves by coming close to me. Thank you, Iroquois, even though you're pissed at me, you still offer me good things. Yes, 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 good, good, 1%, I'll take your 1%. He's a little curious right now, he's just trying to make money off of me. And Sons of Liberty membership continues to increase. And we need a hundred tools. Are we producing tools? No. Can we make tools? Yes. So we will take one of these guys down here and make tools. So we have to make a hundred of them. Do we have the ore? Yes. So we're in good shape there. So we'll let Newport create that. Excuse me while I adjust my headset. And we'll have our scout come up here. Let's see if the French have done anything else. Alright, Fort Orange. We'll get more furs and we'll take their tobacco they don't use. I could actually set up a trade route on this, but I like to kind of micromanage myself. It makes me feel more secure and controlling everything. Alright, so let's send these guys. Let's see, they're blue. They're green, so they're just a little... 
I'm about tempted to send it to the capital to calm them down all the way. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, this cannon... We'll leave it here just in case the Indians attack. Alright, let's try to sink this now and get some goods. Excellent. We will take, actually, the cotton and the ore, because that's useful. And we sent that back to Amsterdam. Excellent. So if the Dutch can't make money, we're pretty much keeping them from doing what they want to do. And in my book, that's awesome. Something tells me there's a city down there where that merchantman went. So we're just going to kind of follow them around the block and see what's going on. See what those pesky French are up to. Right now is where the game gets in its good groove. If you've never played it before, this is when you start to enjoy it. You get to actually concentrate on what you want to build in your colonies. You can build up everything just so you get everything working. Privateer has completed its repairs. We will definitely get that out and going again. Are we using our tools for anything else? Oh, we're not making tools here. I see what you're doing. Alright. But we don't have ore here. And we can't produce it, so... We need to bring ore to Fort Orange. So we'll produce Liberty Bells until that gets there. Or, I could not be an idiot. And I can actually just buy 500... Oh my, never mind. Um... We'll let that privateer bring down some of its ore. Alright, they have no guns here to spare. So I'm actually going to send this caravel on a gun run. Which of my colonies have the most guns that they can spare? Probably Fort Boob. Yes, we'll, we'll go there and take guns. Let's have our seasoned scout go in here and let's see what spam is up to. Well, they're not producing a lot of anything. I would be kind of attempted to... I think I'll leave my scout there so that I can... Uh... No, we need to send him on his way. We'll send him on up here to unexplored locations. Still yet to find another French city. I'm sure they have more than one. They wouldn't just have Quebec. That wouldn't make sense at all. Alright, this privateer, it actually got repaired, so... We'll send it down here to Isabella. Which they do have two cities, and they were two capital colonies. Colony cities. So, maybe that's just the game they're playing, as they're going to run those two, but... I'm saying more south on the map, they've got more locations. Probably a lot more. I really need to get a missionary at that one location. Alright, you need to go to Fort Orange. I've still yet to change the name of Fort Orange. It is kind of the spearhead of our Dutch conquest. So, I don't know what to actually change it to, but we need to come up with something. Hmm. I don't really know anything that would, uh... Let's see, let's zoom to the colony. We'll just stick a needle in their eye and call it Fort Red. Yes, yes, yes. We'll get ore there eventually when this ship gets there. All right, Simon Bolivar has joined our Continental Congress. Excellent. And as the game farts, oh, he's nicely dressed. Look at that sash. A real man wears a sash like that. And Sons of Liberty membership in all your colonies has increased by 20%. So that's a big boost. Having him do that is excellent. And we've built a newspaper, which will also add to that. If you notice, this doubled up here because of the newspaper. Alright. 
Let's build a artillery just to get ready to go. All right. Start producing those, and we get a new list of people. So let's see. Jandy Witt, uh, trade with foreign colonies is allowed. Uh, in addition, your foreign affairs report becomes more interesting or more revealing. That could be a good. Oops. Fernanda Magellan. Magellan in the Congress, the movement allowance of all naval vessels is increased by one, and the time limit or time to sail from west to the med map edge to the Europe is shortened considerably. He's actually an excellent one to have when you're trading. Um, let's see here, Hernan Cortez. Uh, do you want your con conquered native settlements? If you can get him early in the game, um, the cat, the galleons are transported for free, and if you're the Spanish, he helps out tremendously in saving on the the uh, transportation costs. Benjamin Franklin, the King's European Wars no, have no further effect on relations between the powers and the New Worlds, and Europeans always offer peace in negotiations. He's probably the one I'm going to go with, just because we need that peace. But let's see what is Juan down here. Okay, we've already seen him. Subjugated Indians will convert into colonists. We're going to go with Benjamin Franklin, and hopefully get him here soon. Sons of Liberty Management Ship in New Poor are... Uh, is up to 62%. I totally caught myself saying there. Uh, blah, 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 plus one. Excellent. New Pork, not New Porn. Excuse me. All right. So rebel sentiment is on a rise in the colonies. Gamers, we are up to 45%. So if we can keep this going, we are well on our way to declaring independence. So hopefully as everything winds down here in this turn, you can see we're on a good path. And I think I'm going to end the game here, or end the game, end the video here. So join me next time for Let's Play Colonization. This is SKS, signing off. Good night, gamers.